All right, so this, this video is graphing the reciprocals, just the parent with no uh, transformations or anything. Just what does it look like? What's the parent? What are you looking for? So that when we have the other homework video uh, where there's transformations, you can handle it. So this is just knowing, hey, how do I graph cosecant, secant, and cotangent? So here's our parent function. And if you had a unit circle in front of you or not, um, we'd look at each one. So at zero for cosecant, it's undefined. So off a unit circle, you're going to remind yourself that cosecant's the reciprocal of the y-coordinate. And when the y-coordinate's zero, that means the reciprocal is an asymptote. So I'm going to do my asymptotes in green because my green pen is working. And then we look at 90 degrees or pi over 2. And there it's 1 and the reciprocal of 1 is 1. And then at pi, again it's undefined because the reciprocal of 0. At 3 pi over 2, or at the bottom of the circle, it is negative 1, and the reciprocal of negative 1 is negative 1. And then back to 2 pi or 0, it's an asymptote. So here's a pattern. So every 180 or every pi, there's an asymptote. And then in between, in the middle, we have these points that oscillate like a wave, but it's not going to be a wave. So here in the middle will be negative 1, and then here in the middle will be positive 1. And you can see it goes up and down. Now the picture is what's important. This is not a wave. So the picture between the asymptotes is going to look like a parabola. And the, um, the upper vertices, the parabola folds up, and the lower ones, they fold down. And there's the picture. The domain for this is all reals except multiples of pi. So every multiple of pi, there's an asymptote. The range, that's y, is greater than or equal to 1 or less than or equal to negative 1. So nothing between 1 and 0. There is no intercepts because it doesn't touch the x-axis or the y because they're asymptote on the y. We have asymptotes at every multiple of pi. There is no amplitude because it's not a wave. And the period is 2 pi. When you get transformation, so if it looked like So if it was something in this realm, right, there is no amplitude defined, but the period would be 2 pi divided by b or to undo b. The horizontal or phase shift would be h, and the vertical shift would be k. Secant. So again, if you start at 0, know the definition of it. So the equation, obviously, is y equals secant x. What's the definition of secant? It's the reciprocal. So the, the rule is flip the x. So at 0 degrees, or radians, the x-coordinate is 1. And so the reciprocal of 1 is 1. At pi over 2, it's 0. And the reciprocal of 0 is uh, undefined. At pi is going to be negative 1. And the reciprocal of negative 1 is negative 1. At 3 pi over 2, the x-coordinate is 0. And the reciprocal of 0 is 0. And at 2 pi, we're back again here. So you can see a pattern here. 
So we're going to follow that pattern, both right and left. And notice again, these points oscillate. Now again, this what does the picture look like? Not a wave. So the upper points, the ones that are higher, is a parabola that folds up. And here, the lower ones is a parabola that folds down. And that picture then continues, and that pattern continues forever, left and right. The domain again. So this is all reals except odd multiples of pi over 2. Even multiples would be 2 over 2 or 4 over 2. Those simplify down and they wouldn't be part of the domain restriction. So just odd multiples. So 1 over 2, 3 over 2, 5 over 2, just the odd numbers in the numerator. The range, same as what we just did. So it's either greater than or equal to 1. Uh, it's less than or equal to negative 1. This does have it has no x-intercept, but does have a y-intercept at positive 1 right here. So it does cross the y-axis. Asymptotes. It's at every odd multiple of pi over 2. There's no amplitude. The period, again, is 2 pi. So one parabola up, one parabola down. That can, uh, finishes one cycle. If we had a transformation, it's going to be exactly what we just said for cosecant. They just start at different spots. So there's no amplitude. It's 2 pi. And then you would uh, divide by b. h is the horizontal or phase shift, and k is the vertical shift. All right, last one here, cotangent. So again, the definition here, here is the parent. The definition is x divided by y. So we need to know the rule when we graph it. So at zero radians, when you go x divided by y, that's going to be uh, 1 divided by 0. So that means it is undefined. So at 0, we start with an asymptote. Then when I go to the next one, x divided by y, at pi over 2, the answer is 0, because 0 divided by 1 is 0. And then at pi, again, we have an asymptote, because we're dividing x divided by y. So whenever the y-coordinate is 0, it's an asymptote. Now, to complete this picture here, because this completes one period, know that at pi over 2, the answer for cotangent is positive 1. And at, which one's this one? At 3 pi, sorry, at pi over 4, it's 1. And at 3 pi over 4, the answer is negative 1. So understand the curve of this is going to look similar to a tangent. It just goes in the other direction. So if you remember, tangent went up to the right and down to the left. Cotangent uh, is a reflection of that. It goes down to the right and up to the left. And that's the pattern that repeats over and over again. So I go over to 2 pi. The three points, the middle, one, and negative one, and then I draw my picture. So again, at zero, at negative one, and positive one, and then I draw my picture. At zero, positive one, negative one, and then I draw my picture. What's the domain here? Well, the domain is exactly the same as cosecant. So it's all reals except multiples of pi. The range, notice it goes up forever and down forever. So the range is actually all real numbers, everything. The x-intercept. Well, uh, x-intercepts are everywhere here where it crosses the x-axis. Uh, so it's all multiples, all odd multiples of um, pi over 2.
it crosses the x-axis, the y-intercept is zero. The asymptotes are all multiples of pi. There's an asymptote, no amplitude, and the period here is pi to complete one cycle or one period. The transformation, so if we had the same idea here, There's no amplitude, but the period would be pi, and if you have some, a number being multiplied or whatever, you undo that by multiplying or dividing. The horizontal or phase shift is H, and the vertical shift is K. So there's a reference for each one before we start applying the transformation. All right, Mr. GMAP, over and out.